Good morning, Rock Kids. Today we're going to be learning all about the mouth of God and how God would use his mouth and, and how he talks about using his mouth with people. And just like us, you can imagine that we use our mouth for different things. And one of the things that we use our mouth for is talking, singing, speaking, shouting, all of those things that you hear your mom do or that you're doing when she's telling you to be quiet. Um, and those are the things that God uses his mouth for too, to give warnings to people, to give instructions, to tell them that he loves them. And he does that through the word of God, the Bible. But we can't usually see sound. So today I thought we would show a way that you could see sound at home. So we're going to try a little experiment today. What I have is a bowl, and on the bowl I have saran wrap. You have to pull it really tight. And on top of the saran wrap I have rice. And then I tried a bunch of different things to see what would work the best to see sound. And we, we have this big drum at church and a drumstick that we're going to try. And I'm going to show you what sound looks like and the effects of what sound can do to something. Just like how God's voice can change things when I'm going to hit this drum, it might change the rice. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Okay. Kind of makes the rice dance jump around and that's the sound waves that you're actually able to see when the rice moves and just like we can't see God's voice and sometimes we don't even really hear the audible voice of God we can see the effects of what God says to us so when God gives us a warning in the Bible and we read that and we, we listen to it and we pay attention then we can see the effect in our life of what God's word does for us so this week I want you to try and see if you can see sound try this experiment at home and maybe you don't have a big drum at home but you could try hitting all kinds of different things and see what makes the rice really dance <laughs> 